The Jim Elliot Missionary Story Philip James Elliot, or Jim as he was called, was born in 1927 in Portland, Oregon to Fred and Clara Elliot. He attended Wheaton College where he met Elizabeth Howard, the daughter of missionaries. Jim and Elizabeth both wanted to serve the Lord in missions, so Jim traveled to the South American country of Ecuador to start learning Spanish, and later, Elizabeth followed. They were married and had a baby girl, Valerie. The Elliots, together with four other missionary couples, wanted to work among the Aka people. This remote tribe had never had any contact with civilization and had never heard the gospel. They were a dangerous people, known for killing anyone outside their group. Everyone feared them. But Jim and Elizabeth knew taking the gospel to the Aukas was worth the risk. How else would they hear about Jesus and his sacrifice for them? The missionary team, made up of the five men, started reaching out to the Aka people by flying a plane over their village with a bucket attached to a rope dangling from the plane. In the bucket they put presents such as buttons, salt, ribbons, or cooking pots. They wanted the Aukas to know they were friendly. Soon the Aukas were accepting the gifts and even sending some back including a live parrot. After three months, the five-man missionary team decided it was time to make contact. They landed their airplane on a strip of sand by the river and built a small settlement. Small groups of Aukas came to visit, and one man even took a plane ride with them. But then one day a group of Aukas arrived carrying spears and killed all five missionaries. Jim and his friends had guns and could have defended themselves, but they refused to kill the tribesmen to save their own lives. They knew that would ruin any chance of sharing the gospel with the tribe, and the missionaries knew that if they died, they would be with Jesus. Jim Elliot and his friends died as martyrs. They gave their lives because they believed that sharing the message of Jesus was the most important thing anyone could do. But what happened to the Aukas who killed Jim and his friends? Elizabeth and Valerie, along with Rachel Saint, the sister of Nate Saint one of the other men who was killed went back to the Aukas so they could complete the mission of sharing Jesus with these lost people. And, because of the love that Elizabeth and Rachel showed, many of the Aukas believed in Jesus, including several of the people who had killed the missionaries. The Aukas have now sent missionaries to other villages, and some have even died as martyrs sharing the good news of Jesus with other tribes. The tribe is no longer known for being dangerous killers. The gospel completely changed them. Fun facts about Jim Elliot. Jim's father was a pastor, and his mother was a chiropractor. The Aukas are known by two other names, the Wayatani and the Waroni people. Jim Elliot's most famous quote is he is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain that which he cannot lose. First Christian convert in tribe that killed Jim Elliot and four other missionaries dies. This plaque honoring Jim Elliot and Ed McCauley is displayed at Wheaton College, where both the men graduated. The plaque reads, Go ya and preach the gospel. Dedicated to the glory of God and in loving memory of Edward McCauley, president of the class of 1949, and James Elliot 49, likewise an outstanding athlete and leader. Because of the Great Commission, Ed and Jim, together with Nathaniel St. 49, Roger Udirian and Peter Fleming went to the mission field willing for anything anything regardless of cost. They chose the jungles of Ecuador inhabited by the Aka Indians. For generations, all strangers were killed by these savage Indians. After many days of patient preparation and devout prayer, the missionaries made the first friendly contact known to history with the Aukas. On January 8, 1956, the five missionaries were brutally slain martyrs for the love of God. Erected by the class of 1949. January 8, 1957. For the love of Christ constraineth us 2 Corinthians 5.14.